Hi everyone, and welcome along on our three-day weekend trip of fun at the Nemecolon Woodlands Resort in southwestern Pennsylvania. We're doing a little bit of celebrating. We're together as a family. We have a lot of activities planned, and there's really a ton to do here on this 2,200-acre grounds. There's a wildlife reserve, there are restaurants, there's shopping, it's just beautiful to be here. So we're enjoying our time together and we're gonna bring you along with us and I hope you enjoy it too. Spring break, right Frank? Spring break. It really feels like spring. Wow. This is the Woodlands Auto Toy Store. A 1950 Captain America bike. You know what? From Easy Rider. Let's see, 1955 Jaguar. Fancy. This is a 1913 Ford Model T. What's fun about the Model T is uh, the windshield is that piece of glass right there. This is a 1917 Harley Davidson. It's a Plymouth Prowler from 1999, 1956 Ford Country Squire. Hi. What's the most glorious looking position I can take? <laughs> he looks glorious. Oh, wow. I'm trying to get a slight. We're here at Nemecolon, which is a resort in Pennsylvania on the kids' spring break. Yes, it is snowing, it's April. And we're gonna go on a wildlife safari tour now. Right here, how about you? Alright, okay, I'm trying to get the other guy. Go away, you. Yeah, so everyone knows that Robin is in charge. Just get closer, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, with this stuff, they usually just use their tongue and their lips. All around, they seem to have these kind of very interesting statues. There's Sacagawea on the path of discovery. Uh, wolves are pretty cool animals. In my opinion, they're my favorite animals. These guys can range between 80 and 90 pounds generally. Uh, they are found all throughout Alaska and in British Columbia and now are being found in small populations in uh, the United States, like Yellowstone and has a, a population of gray wolves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, he's looking at you. He's gonna pounce on Abby. Oh, no. Don't worry, everybody. Abby, he's looking at you. Oh, he is up there. That's just affection. So what he's done since he was a pub is actually play a little game where he stops yeah. uh, visitors, and if they have their back turned to him, he'll yeah. sometimes pounce at the fence. Oh. Which is what I was trying to get him to do earlier. Yes. Nice. That sounds like a fun game. How about some chicken now? Did you get it? Yeah, it was great. It is a black Angus cow. His name is Duke. And the reason he is in here is because he is a very sneaky cow. What he has done is found a way to get in between our two fence layers and just kind of chill out there, munching on the grass. Uh, bison are actually meant to, are actually built to sort of plow through uh, heavy snow drifts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That hunch that is on top of their shoulders is actually a bunch of muscle mm -hmm. and it helps support their neck so that they can plow through snow drifts that are roughly five feet deep. And these guys, they will hunt, they will stalk their prey for uh, 30 minutes to three days at a time. Wow. Yes. And he also gets a little impatient, so you might see him biting at the fence. Uh, this just kind of gives you a good look at how big his teeth actually are. Mountain lions are also the cat known by many names. They are, I believe they have roughly 30 different names. 
uh, that people call them. So you'll hear them be called mountain lions, cougars, pumas. Uh, in southern regions, you'll hear them sometimes be called ghost cats. Hey, I, I know. Wow. <laughs> out of our forebears. <laughs> so we have two American black bears named Rocky and Jojo and two Himalayan black bears named Katie and Cooter. Uh, Katie and Cooter are awake all year round because it just simply doesn't get cold enough to give them that chemical cue of I need to go to sleep. So you'll see them walking around in the winter, in the summer, Aww. in the spring while Rocky and Jojo are asleep. Now are those like the fluffier ones right there? Yes, so the fluffier ones are, are Himalayan black bears. Okay. Well, Heavy lux bears. Um, I think that's Katie. So she's actually a real sweetie. She is See? kind of the peacekeeper in our yard. Uh, one You're time a coworker of mine was saying that two of the bears, I think it was Rocky and Twitter, were kind of getting into a little spat. Katie just wakes up from her nap, walks over, and just starts growling at them. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. Now. Spring break! The hail's really coming down, but it doesn't really bother the bears very much. But it certainly does bother the kids. While females can live up to 20 in the wild. Yeah, video. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. I'm trying, sweetie. There we go. Get it up. Good girl. Girl. The chicken has fun. Hello, kids. I've never heard of that. It's about 2,200 acres. Just an incredible property. You can see it behind me now. And we're gonna be here for about three days, really enjoying ourselves, walking around, uh, having some fun activities, having a couple of nice meals, I think. And we'll take you along on the way. Oh, look at this. They give us chocolates also. I ate two. How were they? Bram ate one. I think I, can I have one? No. We got a room that's called a balcony double. Pretty nice bathroom with everything you would ever need or want. The, the kids are already relaxing. That's the way to do it. Any comments? We have picked <laughs> the worst possible location for spring break. I think you might be right. What do you think, Gemma? Spring break? Absolutely horrid. Just a little bit of... It's fine. Oh. Really big fluffy snowflakes. It's delightful, isn't it? It's a winter wonderland. It's spring. Uh huh. April 9th, man. Very old rock one. Yes. This three dimensional sculpture on top of the painting is fantastic. Oh my god. We're at a restaurant over at the lodge called Rockwell's. It's a steakhouse. New Zealand. Very traditional. We're going to get steak. Yeah, so we're going to celebrate Gemma's birthday. She's awesome. I've gotten a fireside margarita, and Tiffany's gotten a baked pear martini. Dude. Yours looks potato soup. Remember they had chocolate ice cream in the restaurant there, too? Yeah. Cheese. This is the French onion soup. It's so good. Ridiculous ribeye, which looks amazing. Bram got a strip steak with blue cheese on it. It's a filet. A filet. That looks good. An enormous quantity of chicken fingers and fries. Enormous. Looks good. Starting to pick up a little bit here. It's kind of got a good energetic vibe going on. I think that's it for us. I think that's the end of the day. Right, everybody? That's the end. Look at my sons. I see. That's all. They deserve your praise. Had to, enough. We need babies. We Look at my babies. We, we need my babies. <laughs>
right. Right now we're at the uh, Aquaeus, uh, at the uh, Nem uh, Nemacolin uh, Resort. <laughs> you know, it's it's really this an experience here. Um, that's about it, really. All right. Second day here. Yeah. Nice. This will go in the gag reel. We have an amuse bouche for the table. It's, a, it's like a little vanilla spoon. Please video me down. It's like a shot, and then immediately like down. Go ahead, Bram. I hope. The harvesting of the, of, the, of the pastries has begun. Good morning, losers. I this whole thing in my mouth in one bite. Good Enjoy, John. This is going to be good. John has delicious pancakes. Bram has uh, what he gets everywhere. Eggs and meat. I have uh, sausage biscuits and gravy and eggs. And Tippy has her favorite you? parfait. Thank you. She loves the yogurt parfait. This place is called The Peak, where there are many entertainments to be had. Also, it's too cold for this, but there is a rock wall right over there. Wow. This is the outdoor pool. As you can see, I think it's heated. I have heard that it's not going to be very crowded today because it's a little cool out, but wow, look at that. I bet it would be fantastic to have this all to yourselves. Let's go. <gasps> What's gonna happen, guys? <gasps> yes! Yes! More difficult. All right. You should try yes. a difficult one Let's because you got it immediately. All right, all right. All right. Let's it was fun. We uh, threw axes and we had some good food. Yeah, nice. One of the nice things about Nemacolin is that they always have this black shuttle. And you just have to call for it and it will take you anywhere on the property you want. And we're going back to our resort now. It's a very nice place. So nice here at Nemacolin that if you ask, they will set up a fancy bath for you. Is that for me? Maybe. Hello, we Hi. are, um, what are we doing? We are down at the bar. At the the bar. children are upstairs in the room. The children are doing upstairs. whatever it is they're doing. Who cares? Let's enjoy ourselves. This is the chocolate riches, which certainly does look pretty rich. It's early April and it's a bit of an off season here. It's still kind of cold and it's not very crowded. It almost feels like we have the place all to ourselves a lot of the time. There are playgrounds all over the place, so it seems like a great place for young families to come and enjoy themselves. Got a couple of the big cats out and about. Hey guys, how's it going? I know you're just kind of stalking around. Oh, hey. How's it going? Over here we have a couple of our wolf friends. I know you guys are up early, right? All right, we're walking together, I think. I'm not stalking him, we're just hanging out. I'm gonna go over to the bear enclosure to see what's happening there. They're so fluffy. Let's get closer a little bit. Just waiting to see what happens, all right? Hey guys. Well, maybe that's just the black bear. We went on a formal wildlife tour and got taken around in a van by Emily and Abby a couple days ago. But I have to say, just coming over to the enclosures earlier in the day, when the animals do seem to kind of wake up and they're greeting the day, there's a lot of energy there while they look around. <coughs> do you hear that? <coughs> <coughs> I think that's the sound that says 
be on your way. Once again, we're back at Aquius for breakfast. This time, Bram is sleeping in, but the rest of us get to enjoy a nice meal. Gemma has already gone after her favorites. This is a peanut butter and banana smoothie. It looks good. It's just looking stuffed avocado under that egg. Tiffany got the French toast. And Gemma got the classic pancakes and bacon. Listen, for those who didn't notice, it's got the pork belly right there. Right there. Oh, it's so good here. We should just keep coming back over and over. But I think we only have one more day. The kids, we're at the shooting academy here for Nemo Colon. Are you excited? Yeah, I have a question now. Yes. Can I shoot at her? No, you cannot shoot at oh. each other. They're gonna just do legit targets. All right? Oh. I don't know, this is neat. Oh, it's so peaceful out here. All right, let's go in. So I thought it was really important for the kids to get out and have a fun activity without the grown-ups getting in the way. So I brought them over here to the field club. Right now they're shooting air rifles and in a little while they're going to do some archery. Yeah. Yep, right, right through the middle. Okay, go ahead and shoot when you're ready. Here we are in the shooting academy. This looks like a fun place to hang out. Oh, how'd we do, guys? You have fun? It was a little bit shaky at the beginning, but then we... Well, you've never done it before, better. right? Thank you, good. All right, excellent. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> Don't worry, Gemma, I got that one. Shooting guns was easier than shooting bows. Yeah, it was your first time trying that though, right? Yeah. So uh, you might be better with a little more practice, I think. Mm -hmm. well, I, I kind of sucked at the beginning of shooting the gun, but after I took Gemma's, it was far easy. After you took Gemma's? Yeah, because he told us to swap. Oh, that's and weird. And I was like, okay, I'll go try out her gun. And then I shot every single thing after that. How did that happen? Did she bless it for you somehow? Yeah, I, I think that gun was just more lucky. Yeah, that must be it. Here's the lodge at Nemacolin, which is another place you can stay. It's right near the chateau. In this case, we're not staying here, but there are a lot of amenities right nearby, including the shops and the spa and some restaurants. So it's a hub of a lot of activity right over here, just as you come into the property. All right, after all that archery and air rifling, we're gonna stop over here at the ice cream place and fortify ourselves, right kids? Right kids? Sure. Sure. Okay. PJ's ice cream parlor. Let's go check it out. Come and have the mint. Yeah. Minty. What about this white chocolate, chocolate blueberry? It's pretty good. I got peanut butter and chocolate and vanilla. There are my kids. There's Bram and Gemma, mostly staying out of trouble. I don't know if they can sense that I'm filming them. Maybe. Right near PJ's, the ice cream place, and just a little bit away from the tavern, which is a dining establishment, they have this Swami in a box. Only 50 cents, and you can find out everything you want to know about your future, and a bunch of things you don't want to know as well. For the retail oriented, they have something called the Laurel Lane Shops. And I see stuffed animals, and clothes, and art, and lots of other things too. There's a cute little art gallery over by the elevator. Nice. Tiffany's still at the spa. I don't know if she's ever coming back. And the kids are napping now, so it's me time right now. I'm back at the bar over by Aquius. I have a maple old fashioned. It comes with candied bacon in it. How about that? I'm gonna to pretend to try this. I've already tried it. Ooh, that's delicious. I found Dory. She's still lost. 
still lost. We're dining at a place called The Tavern, which is kind of their pub style restaurant. It's pretty casual. Look at all this art. Look at that. It's something. It's like dried apple. Well, can I have one? It's boozy. Here at the tavern, I got a Diablo burger, which is a signature thing. Oh, look at that. This. What do you mind? Oh, yeah. Graham got a couple of sliders. They're enormous. I want to devour them. Two smash burgers, actually. Look at that. Jemma got the classic chicken burger. Nice. Thank you. And today got a chicken sandwich, also. That looks good. Brownie. Graham has an ice cream sandwich that's waffle related. Well, ice cream sandwich on a waffle. Dad! No. Gemma has a brownie. Hey, Dad, do you want to what did you think of our meal at the tavern? Pretty good by H Watch. Again? Yeah. Who could have predicted? Uh, the ice cream, like, waffle sandwich or whatever was... Pushed you over the edge? Yeah. These things happen. There's a seashell collection over here. What's happening in here? We're looking at shells. That's yeah, awesome. I guess so. How about that? Careful. How about that? Hi. All right, there's one big building I haven't been in yet on the property. It's called the Chateau, which is basically a really nice hotel. This place is fantastic. The Chateau is very fancy. I like it. Oh, so much art. That's fantastic. That's a kludge. It would be like, I think, lodging in an art gallery. And that might be okay. This is modern. It's like a giant purple heart hand grenade. So in the lodge right near Rockwell's, which is the steakhouse we went to the other night, which was quite excellent, there is this little room that has a bunch of the concept drawings from the resort. You can see this, you can really, if you're a student of architecture, get a lot out of this. It's got the elevations and it's got a plan here of the grounds. There's the big map of the grounds relative to everything else in the area as well. Super, it really puts everything in context. I heard something funny about this stairwell. What's down here? cellar. Wow. Okay. They have, I don't know. It looks like, is it a hundred thousand models? It might be more than that. This is unbelievable. It just keeps going and going and going. Oh, finally reached the end. Boy, that was tiring. After all this, I think I could use a drink. Over at the lodge is an entire exhibit dedicated to Joe Hardy, who founded 84 Lumber and then purchased this property that became the Nevin Woodlands Resort from the Rockwells. And it's, well, it's quite a testament to everything that he's done here to build this place up. He's still around uh, 98, almost 99 years old now, I think. Quite an achievement. Boy, there sure is a lot of walking to get around here, but if you get tired, you might find a bench and just have a quiet conversation with, well, a good conversationalist. I have to say, if you like to walk, bring good shoes. You'll find plenty of walking here. Back there, that's the chateau and the lodge. And this way, well, it's a great paved path past some art. And I think I saw a mini golf course up there. So let's see if we could find it. I found the high point where I can see the runway. Look at that. This is called the flight deck. There goes the shuttle. Those run all the time. Wow, that's cool. I continue my walk. I think I'm the only one, but uh, I got a bottle of water from a very nice gate guard back there who said, most people who stay here don't even realize that there's a sidewalk that they can follow that will just take them around so much of the gar of the grounds here so yay for me 
Yes, I knew if I kept going, I would eventually find this mini golf course. For the record, I did stop to mini golf and I'm terrible. Well, it's raining now, which I think is a message from Mother Nature that I should quit while I'm ahead. So I will. So we're wrapping up our trip to Nemecolon. I've had a fantastic time. I really have enjoyed walking around all the grounds and just seeing the whole property and all the art everywhere. Uh, I, I just think it's a place that I've only scratched the surface on and I would love to spend more time here sometime. Everybody else, what did you think about the trip and what did you like? They have a surprising amount of things to do here. Um, the food here is also pretty good like consistently from all the places that we've been to. So yesterday I got the 90 minute um, mystical massage or something. I forget exactly what it's called. And it maybe is the best massage I've ever had. My masseuse was Matt. He was amazing, recommended. I also enjoyed after the massage, going up to the sort of little relaxation area where there was a nice fire and they bought me some tea and I just hung out on a lounge chair basically for, you know, 40 minutes or so coming out of it after my long massage. So recommended. Five stars. Gemma, do you like the pastries? Mm. And reflecting back on it all, it's just been such a relaxing time. Everyone here is so helpful and friendly. They do really cool things for you, like bring you milk and cookies at bedtime and fancy pillows. And you know, it's been a really luxurious experience, uh, but also very relaxing. It's nice to be here when it's a little bit quiet and not crowded at all. It's easy to get into just about all of the restaurants. It was easy to get over to do almost any activity that we wanted. And I think there's a good chance that we're gonna come back someday because we had such a great time here together as a family. Thanks for watching. Thank you.